Or you could uh, get one of our books. Uh, EPC has written several textbooks on the subject, uh, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion. Gallium nitride, or GAM, is opening up huge potential for the electric vehicle battery industry. GAN can withstand temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius and give EVs a range of 400 miles with a charging time of just 30 minutes. This is great news as the price of lithium carbonate has increased by 413% and is becoming increasingly scarce. The lithium shortage is a major factor driving up the price of EVs, which is discouraging many potential buyers. Gallium nitride's long been appreciated by energy researchers. It's even been written about in a book on energy metabolism. So how will the future electronics industry embrace GAN? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Well, gallium nitride is a crystal, uh, and it's made out of gallium and nitrogen, as you might guess. And the, the good news is it's actually a better semiconductor than silicon. Gallium nitride has several advantages over traditional materials such as silicon in terms of power handling, efficiency, and temperature resistance. Compared with traditional original lithium battery packs, gallium nitride-based batteries will offer an advantage in terms of both cost and performance parameters. How attractive will the cost of new battery technology be? The current price of GAN is $100 a kilogram. Accordingly, the expected cost of GAN-based batteries is currently still being researched and developed at a low price compared to other batteries on the market. Specifically, a study by the University of California, Berkeley, showed that the cost of gallium nitride could be as low as $60 a kilowatt hour in the future. The reason it can be lowered is that research used an A1GAN anode material, which can also be produced at a lower cost than traditional anode materials, helping to reduce production costs of GAN battery production. This is significantly lower than the current cost of lithium-ion batteries, which is about $150 a kilowatt hour. To further clarify the cost and convenience of gallium nitride, we'll analyze it with Tesla's electric car. Currently, the Tesla Model S Plaid is priced at $108,000 with a 100 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack, which means the installed battery pack costs around 15 grand. Although not too high, if the Model S Plaid uses a gallium nitride based battery pack, the cost of this sedan will be reduced to $99,490 because a 100 kilowatt hour GAN battery pack costs $6,000. This is really a battery pack with great potential to push the price of electric vehicles down compared to the present. Gallium nitride is a combination of two chemical elements, gallium and nitrogen, to form a chemical compound that acts as a direct semiconductor with, with good electrical conductivity. Gallium is commonly found in bauxite ores, while nitrogen is a common element, making up about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. These two components are not as difficult to mine as lithium, and they also are more abundant, so it has a big impact on the price. When gallium nitride-based electrical vehicle batteries become available, their attractive cost characteristics will help expand the reach of electric vehicles and other energy applications. How efficient are the new gallium nitride-based batteries? Generation battery electric vehicles, including gallium nitride. We have to be 100% sure that there's not going to be any issues with any parts of the next generation battery electric vehicles, including the drive components. Not only is there great potential to help the electric vehicle market reduce prices, but gallium nitride battery technology will give electric cars a significant range upgrade to travel with longer journeys of up to 400 miles with 100 kilowatt GAN batteries. Electric cars with limited range will be better off with powerful gallium nitride batteries like these. The reason this type of battery can be so useful is because of its high energy density, which helps electric vehicles operate stably on the road. The same study by the University of California, Berkeley, also showed that batteries using GAN have an energy density of up to 1,000 watt-hours per kilogram. Higher energy density means the battery can store more energy in the same volume, resulting in longer usage time. Gallium nitride-based batteries can typically be fully charged in about 15 to 30 minutes. Specifically, a 45-watt battery pack 
can fully recharge a smartphone in 15 minutes. A 65-watt battery pack can charge a laptop in 60 minutes, and a 100-watt battery pack can fully charge an electric vehicle in about 30 minutes. This is a much superior timeline compared to other batteries on the market. Gallium nitride's high power handling ability allows for fast charging without generating significant heat, reducing the risk of battery degradation. The exact charging time of a battery based on this chemical compound will depend on a number of factors, including battery capacity, charging capacity, and ambient temperature. Batteries based on gallium nitride are effective for enhancing the safety of devices because they're capable of withstanding high temperatures. In its conventional form, gallium nitride can operate at temperatures up to 600 degrees. So when it's developed in battery packs, these batteries will operate at higher temperatures than usual. GAN's thermal and electrical properties make it less prone to overheating and loss of heat, helping to maintain device performance. This type of battery can also work stably in cold climates with temperatures of minus 40 degrees. The issue of the longevity of battery packs on the market always causes pain for customers because they want to own the most durable battery pack. They don't want to pay too much attention for maintenance or battery changes. Gallium nitride-based batteries are exactly what customers want. If stored and used properly, a GAN battery can extend its lifespan up to 10 years. Temperature durability properties are a key factor in maintaining the life cycle of this battery technology. We can see that the superior conductive properties of gallium nitride can help increase the overall performance of the battery by reducing energy loss during charging and discharging, batteries, if developed based on this compound, can provide more power to the equipment in which they're installed, as well as increase the durability of that device. Why will Tesla soon apply gallium in electric vehicles? Earlier this year, many sources revealed that Tesla's acquisition of the German company Wafarion was widely discussed in the community. The Wafarion company is famous in the field of manufacturing effective wireless electric vehicle chargers. It's quite a coincidence that gallium nitride is a compound that works effectively on high-end wireless chargers. The moment really connects as Tesla seems intent on reviewing this new active ingredient. If the company quietly adds this active ingredient to wireless chargers launched in the near future, those will be superior chargers. Gallium nitride can pass higher currents than silicon, which could help reduce electric vehicle battery charging times. For example, a 100 kilowatt GAN charger can charge an electric vehicle from 0 to 80% in about a half hour, while a 100 kilowatt silicon charger can take about 50 minutes to perform the same task. Is we can install this into, the, uh, into an automotive vehicle uh, in the center console or even the doors, and you can power your phone or charge your other devices in the car without having to plug it in. We all know that every Cybertruck or Tesla Semi has convenient wireless chargers in the cabin. Tesla may consider integrating this component in charging sockets in the future to help charge phones faster. The control circuit boards in Tesla cars will become more organized and compact if the company adds them to its electric cars. Control circuit boards that contain gallium will deliver more performance. Gallium nitride has an atomic size of 0.51 nm, smaller than silicon's 0.543 nm. This means that GAN atoms can be packed closer together than silicon atoms, resulting in a higher density. The circuit boards won't be designed too large and take up space on the electric vehicle. The Cybertruck's headlight bulbs are currently still in the process of development and modification. Maybe in future versions, gallium nitride will appear in the LED headlights of this unique pickup truck. Gallium nitride was used very early in the past when scientists at GE invented GAN LEDs in 1961. While traditional tungsten incandescent bulbs have an efficiency of only 5%, GAN LED bulbs can reach 60% efficiency. This success proves that the LED headlight system of electric vehicles is very suitable for using gallium nitride. GAN can emit light with shorter wavelengths, resulting in light with higher brightness. LED headlights are less likely to burn out when this active ingredient melts at high temperatures. Why can it replace the original lithium-ion battery? At the present time, gallium nitride-based batteries are still a technology that still contains many mysteries in the manufacturing process to bring to market. However, with great potential for many devices, especially electric vehicles, it could soon replace the original lithium-ion battery. In the face of a lithium source that's gradually dwindling and with a significant increase in price, gallium nitride will improve both supply and cost issues. It's much more abundant than lithium. New battery technology promises to provide performance that's no worse or even superior to traditional lithium-ion batteries. Greater energy density provides better experiences, 
So gallium nitride-based batteries can give electric vehicles about 20% longer range than lithium batteries. Gallium nitride is a semiconductor with a melting point of 1465 degrees Celsius, which is much higher than that of lithium at 180.5 Celsius. This means that gallium nitride can withstand much higher temperatures without melting. Gallium nitride can also operate at temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius, while lithium can only operate at temperatures below 200 degrees Celsius. This makes GAN a more heat-resisting material than lithium, and it's less likely to overheat and cause damage to the battery system. The charging speed of gallium nitride-based batteries will help electric vehicles not stay at the same charging station for too long, as research also shows that gallium nitride batteries can fully charge in about 30 minutes, much faster than lithium batteries because it takes longer to fully charge. For example, the 2170 lithium-ion battery can take two hours to fully charge, which isn't much more but also shows that it's less outstanding in terms of charging. GAN batteries can conduct electricity more effectively than silicon, the material that lithium batteries are typically made from, which allows gallium nitride-based batteries to charge faster without overheating. With this new compound, the batteries can also operate at higher temperatures, an advantage that could help them withstand harsh weather conditions. New battery technologies have the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle market because they can help electrical vehicles go farther, charge faster, and operate more efficiently. This could help electric vehicles become a more viable option for many customers. How will gallium nitride be produced to soon launch on the market? Gallium nitride is a potential candidate for the fields of electronics and energy storage. Although it has a simple structure and is easy to exploit, when put into production, it still has certain limitations. So the process is called molecular beam epitaxy, and it's a process where we have atomic layer control of building our gallium nitride crystals. We use gallium nitride over silicon or gallium arsenide because it can handle much higher power density. Gallium nitride melts at high temperatures, making it more difficult to fabricate than other semiconductor materials. Gallium nitride can be prepared by many different methods, but only the epitaxial method is the most popular and effective. The method involves depositing a thin layer of GAN on a substrate of another material such as silicon or sapphire, which can then be used for application on appropriate devices. This method allows the production of gallium nitride layers of high thickness and purity while precisely controlling the physical properties of this compound. On the contrary, the method is not simple, as it has to go through many complicated processes. This method also requires a high level of technique and experience, so it's difficult to apply widely. Although this method is still complicated, researchers also focus on improving the above disadvantages. Besides, new methods of gallium nitride production will be quickly proposed by eminent battery scientists. Including gallium nitride in battery packs is not a big problem, as this active ingredient is very benign and easily combined with other components. It'll help reduce time and control accidents during the manufacturing process. Producing batteries based on gallium nitride will have certain advantages and disadvantages. It's easy to exploit at a reasonable price, but comes with elaborate production methods. This is the reason why it's so slow to launch in large quantities to serve the electronics market. In the future, when manufacturers overcome limitations in the production process, gallium nitride will be one of the best choices for customers to trust. How will gallium nitride be used in the future? Thanks to the advantages of gallium nitride, it's opened up many potential applications in different fields to serve an ever-growing electronics industry. It has the most potential for the electric battery field because it possesses ideal characteristics such as low cost, stable energy density, and outstanding high temperature control. When acting as a gallium nitride battery pack, it'll help electric vehicles improve their range and reduce costs significantly compared to the original. The military equipment system would be extremely flawed if it missed gallium nitride. Battery packs based on this active ingredient will play an important role in radar sets, electronic warfare equipment, communications equipment, and GAN batteries will account for about 50% of the effectiveness of those devices. LED and laser lights work better if they contain gallium nitride. GAN-based battery packs are extremely suitable for use in consumer electronic devices like smartphones, computers, and especially chargers. Gallium nitride will increase charging speed compared to chargers using silicon semiconductors. 
it conducts electricity many times better in the same charging time. In the field of communications, gallium nitride will help increase the frequency and improve the transmission quality of telecommunications equipment such as transmitters and amplifiers. The bandwidth will work smoother with this technology if it's installed. In particular, thanks to its light weight, gallium nitride will be convenient for battery packs installed in drones, which can increase altitude and range when there are no problems related to the weight of the battery packs. In recent years, the cost of gallium nitride has been decreasing, so the potential application of this compound in electronic vehicles is becoming more feasible. It's expected to be an important new battery technology in the future, contributing to the development of the electronic and technology industries. While gallium nitride shows great promise in battery technology, it's important to note that there are still significant challenges and hurdles to overcome. Research and development are ongoing, and it'll take time to optimize the design, manufacturing process, and production scale-up of batteries based on this compound. The energy conversion market's gradually modernizing towards promising active ingredients. Companies and energy corporations are constantly developing research to produce battery packs with new technology. The current scarcity of lithium is posing certain challenges for the EV battery industry. The significant increase in the cost of lithium forces manufacturers to have new methods and contingency plans for worst-case scenarios. We can see the emergence of solid-state batteries, salt batteries, 4 million mile batteries, and gallium nitride-based batteries that are gradually proving new battery technologies to serve the future market. Although gallium-based batteries are not widely applied because of problems in the production process, with their outstanding potential and advantages, this technology promises to change customers' perceptions that electric car batteries are expensive and inefficient. So, how do you see the potential of gallium nitride-based batteries, and what elements of this battery technology interest you the most? We'd love to hear from you. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.